YouTube, how's it going today? I have some World Cup 2018 predictions. Uh, I'm using the site telegraph.co.uk, so I'll have a link in the description. Pretty cool, you pick who, uh, you predict who wins each group, then it'll bring you down to the knockout stage. Uh, you do have to register on this site, but it's pretty easy. You just put in a random email. You don't have to confirm anything, so pretty simple. Uh, so, you, again, you do have to register to uh, to make your predictions, but I'll go ahead and do mine. Pretty excited for this World Cup in less than a week. So let's get into it. Group A. Uh, pretty simple, even though Russia's playing at home. I'm going to go Uruguay uh, as as winning Group A. Cavani and Sarez, ridiculous duo up front. And then I'm actually going to go Egypt with second. Mohamed Salah, hopefully he's healthy. Hopefully he plays. The guy's ridiculous. So I'm going to go with those two. I think Russia has a chance for the second spot. And then Group B, it's a pretty pretty obvious two two squads that will come out of this uh, between Portugal and Spain. Uh, obviously, Portugal's got Ronaldo. Uh, pretty balanced after that. Some young guys. I think Spain has more talent they have balance while having more complete talent so i'll go at spain one and portugal two but it could go either way if they play each other it could be a, a zero zero type game portugal is very good at defense and they try to score late on you so we'll see what happens in those games but i for sure expect both those two uh squads to come out of group b group c pretty simple france gets one big fan of france uh legit team a lot of depth good balance uh, guys that really can take over Griezmann Pogba uh, Dembele Mbappe it, it goes on it goes on really good defense so I like France a lot uh, number two don't sleep on Peru but I'm going with Denmark I'm going with Denmark at, at, at for the second spot it, it's going to be close Peru's not actually not bad they're not bad uh, so I got France 1, Denmark 2. And then Group D, I'm going to go with a pretty obvious one. I'm going to go Argentina 1 with Messi. Worried about their defense a little bit, kind of on the weaker side. But they have they are full of, of forwards. They have, obviously, Messi, uh, Higuain, Aguero, Dybala. Dybala is very exciting to watch. Uh, it goes on. They got Di Maria, too. It's So they have a very good offense, defense. Not so hot. Uh Number two, who's going to be – really, any of these any of these uh, countries can take the two spot. But I'm going to go Croatia. I think they have more talent than Iceland and Nigeria. Uh, so I got Croatia going two there, getting second. Group E, uh, another pretty simple one. I got Brazil getting one. Uh, there's so much talent on that team. A lot of superstars. You got Neymar, Coutinho, Firmino, Jesus. It goes on there too, Costa. So it, it goes on in Brazil. That's an obvious – First place in Group E. And I'll go Switzerland too. Uh, really, Costa Rica showed out the last World Cup, so it could be them. Serbia is not bad as well, but I got Switzerland at two. Uh, group F, I'm going to go with the uh, the latest World Cup champions, Germany. And then I'll go Mexico too. I think that's a pretty simple group. And then Group G, pretty tough. I think it's a pretty obvious two countries that will come out here between Belgium and England. Uh, something that's interesting is I think both – those two countries are teams that on paper in the past have been contenders, elite contenders, but when they're on the pitch, they don't play like it. Both both squads. So I think actually both of them step it up, but I think Belgium's got the edge on them. So I'm going to put Belgium at one for the group stage at least. Belgium at one and England at two. And then Group H, uh, really any team can get one and two here, I think. I think... Uh, Japan, I think, would probably be the weakest team in this group. I think Senegal has got some some solid solid talent there. They got Sadio Mane, um, but is that enough? Uh, between Colombia and Poland, Lewandowski on Poland, Colombia's got Yamas Rodriguez, Gajardo. They got some good talent there. It's always been their defense that's been weaker, but they have uh, some young talent there that's pretty good. Sanchez uh, on on the defense there, so. I'm going to go, it's very tough. I'm going to go Poland 1 just because Lewandowski and Colombia 2. But that can go either way. I expect those two countries to come out. Could go either way. That's going to be a fun matchup. More of an attack team out of Colombia and a pretty balanced team out of Poland. But Lewandowski brings the attack uh, to, to counter Colombia. So that, that's why I put Poland 1. But very interesting group. Is there a group of death? That's always the good discussion. Um, I mean, Group H, I don't think it has many 
Eh, you could consider Columbia Poland elite, but really anybody could come out of that group, so you can consider that group. You could consider Group E, too, because they have a powerhouse of Brazil, and the three others uh, could really battle each other. It's not a guarantee who comes out. So, yeah, I'd look at Group E as the group of death. So now we have round of 16. Uh, love this site. Love love this predictor they got going here. Uh, Uruguay versus Portugal. Uh, Uruguay's got a great attack, but Portugal knows how to counter that with great defense and then attack late. Ronaldo, uh, maybe the best player currently. Is it Ronaldo? Is it Messi? Another debate. Uh, but I'll take Portugal there. I think maybe a, maybe a 2-1 game. I think Ronaldo gets one late to take it. Uh, Spain versus Egypt, pretty easy one here, even though I'm a big Mohamed Salah fan. I think Spain wins that. France and Croatia, I'll take France. Too much depth. For France there, Argentina and Denmark, another pretty simple one. I think Messi takes over. Argentina wins. Brazil versus Mexico, take Brazil. Germany versus Switzerland, take Germany. Uh, Belgium versus Colombia, oh, another great one. Um, I like Belgium a lot. That is that's gonna be that would be a great one if that happened. But I take Belgium. Poland, England, another great one. Um, man. I think England's more balanced and then they have more talent, so I'll take England. Even though Lewandowski has got to be the best player on the pitch in that game, I'll take England. Uh, so we're on to the quarterfinals. Portugal versus France, the Euro final rematch. France couldn't score on them before. They had so much young talent. Those guys are getting better now. Uh, I think they're able to score and, and outscore them there, and they beat Portugal. France wins. Spain and Argentina, man. I don't know which way to go on this one. That'll be it. That'll be a great matchup. Spain's obviously more balanced. Argentina has ridiculous attack. Um, I don't know. I don't think. I don't think Spain can keep up with Argentina scoring in this one. I'm gonna go Argentina. That that really is a toss up. Flip a coin. Uh, Brazil and Belgium. Brazil's the obvious choice here, but is having maybe too many superstars a bad thing? I can see it being a bad thing. I think Belgium very balanced. Lukaku at striker. De Bruyne, uh, very exciting players, but pretty balanced. Uh, man, I'll take Brazil, but I, I really like that Belgium team. I really do. Germany, England, uh, two pretty balanced teams. Maybe no superstars on either team. Maybe you consider Harry Kane a superstar. Uh, Germany, I think, is very deep, very balanced. I'll take I'll take Germany, but the one thing is, I know it's just a, a friendly, but they did lose to Austria um, that was a little scary. I know it doesn't really mean much. That's what the, the friendlies are for, but a uh, little concern there, but I, th I think they'll be ready. So we have four countries left, France, Brazil, Argentina, Germany. Oh, man. I think, I really think Argentina, at first, first glance, I didn't think they can do it because of their defense. I was a little concerned, but I, th I really think their attack is going to be very hard to stop. So this is a rematch between uh the World Cup final last time, and then France and Brazil, a lot of young talent between those two. I really like France. I think too many superstars in Brazil, I, somehow, I, for some reason, that's, I think that might not hurt him, hurt them. Obviously, they're making it to the semifinals, but France is so deep, um, so balanced. The only thing with them is they have so much young talent that can they stay consistent. You see the young guys sometimes – play outstanding one game and then the next game they kind of disappear so that's the only thing that scares me but they're so deep they're so balanced and they play very well together um I, it's just a team I, a squad i can't i can't wait to watch so i'm gonna take france there argentina germany i'm just kind of back and forth on this um germany's just so deep so balanced i would think i worry about germany i think can they they're not going to get a lot of goals i don't think they don't really have the greatest forwards anymore can Mueller still do it like he did four years ago uh, I mean he definitely can but Argentina is going to score in this game they're going to get goals uh, but can their defense hold up I think Argentina goes to another final I mean, when, when we first saw the groups obviously I had Argentina going through but in my head I thought they would get knocked out right away in the knockout stage because it's really just messy a couple other forwards, but they all play the same position. They're not really getting on the field. Their defense is, is uh, shaky, kind of sketchy. You don't really know how they're going to perform, but I think they figure it out. I think they figure it out. They score a lot of goals. But France and Argentina, I'm just a big believer in France, so I'm taking France to win this. Uh, again, I am a little scared because they're very young, and they could be inconsistent. Well, I don't want to say consistent, but 
Uh, I've been watching. I've been watching a lot during pretty much all these squads during these friendlies, but they really seem to be coming together. It looks so good. They look so together, good playing together. So it's just the, the team I may be really looking forward to most. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. We've got plenty of sports coverage on the channel. More to come. Our goal is 10K subscribers, so please help us out. That'll do it. Goodbye.